Hey, everybody. Check it out. My pattern 70 South African kit, slightly modified. It's got uh, pouches for my AK here. These are for L1A1s. But I also found that Uzi mags fit in here. Um, I'm sh rocking the Rhodesian set again in honor of receiving the final piece to the uniform from Mr. Barry Woon from Romsgate, South Africa. Got it, well, it arrived yesterday, but I had to go pick it up at the post office this morning. And I wanted to show African Bushcraft my, uh, my Pattern 70 gear. He wanted to see it. Uh, this is a modern South African uh, Defense Force Federal, though. I don't have the the Rhodesian or the old, older South African set. Um, like I said, I'm going to put another AK pouch right here on this. I had to get one at the show. I ran out of cloth ones because I like the cloth that looks kind of matching. But here's the uniform with the 70s gear. Now this is American Canteen. The uh, South African one was beat up really bad. But let's see what we got here. Look at this. He sent some cool postage on these. Got a rhino and some crazy bird and some penguin. And then it's got a praying mantis and a looks like a lionfish or something. And then an iguana and a tree frog. You seen it? Somebody told me to save these stamps. They might be worth something one day, but we'll see. I am ex totally stoked about this. And the guy... I'm going to take this off now. So you've seen what it looks like. Um. This hat was uh, actually a part of a private collection from uh, Barry Wern. And he's selling his collection off. I don't know why, but it's got a lot of nice stuff. And uh, I bought this hat on February 14th of this year. I just received it today. But it wasn't his fault again, and it wasn't snail mail either. I bought it, and I never sent the money for it. <laughs> I told him, and then he wrote me a month ago and said, Hey, do you still want the Rhodesian hat? I forgot about it completely. Completely forgot about it. And I said, Sure, how much do I owe you? And he told me what I owed him. So I sent it to him, and uh, he sent it on the 12th. It left air, air mail the 22nd of uh, July, and, and it made it here. I mean, uh, no, it made it here from the 12th till today, yeah. So, yeah, it got here on the 22nd, which is pretty expedient. So, anyway, the guy said, I want to send some documentation of the and show you a picture of the guy who actually owned this hat. So, I'll show you the hat first, then I'll show you the picture. Actually, no, I'll show you the picture first. Now, he put it in his laminate, but I'm going to take it out. Because I'm going to get it framed. The guy who owned the hat is this guy right here. And it says at the bottom, it says, This cap belonged to then-Inspector Pete Husan, uh, 5663, I guess that was his number, who was the founder, founding member of the PA2U, I don't know what that is, in... Mata, Mataba, Mataba Leland and he is seated in the center so this gentleman right here is a Rhodesian combat vet this guy right here Pete Hassan so I'm going to get this cropped and framed and matted I might get it I might get it copied on a glossy but this is the actual guy that owned the hat that I'm getting ready to show you so and it is the Rhodesian flap cap and it's in great shape and it's very rare because it actually is a decent size most of them are like size 55 53 there's what it looks like when the flaps down and he's actually wearing it in that picture but the flaps up it does have a tag but it's completely faded and you notice that each one of these air vents has got a metal washer to keep it from pulling through the material. Very well made hat. Got nice seams and stitching. Nice thick heavy brim. And here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Look at that Johnny. Matches perfectly doesn't it? I'm completely stoked. This has to be the second ugliest hat in the world. Budman says the Bellegarde hat 
or the swallowtail cap is uglier than this, but I don't know. This is an awesome find for the World Camo Collection, and it fits perfectly. Look at that. And there's the back of it. Almost covers my ponytail, doesn't it? But you can wear it like half up like this, and just have this flapping, where you can pull it all the way down, or you can pull it all the way up and cinch it. And as you can see, there's no tears in it. The material's in good shape. Got a little uh, salty sweat build up there in the brim, but pretty awesome, huh? So the Rhodesian flap cap has now been acquired for the World Camo Collection. And again, it's a pretty damn good match to my Travian set. So thank you to uh, Pete Hussan, uh, Inspector, and uh, Mr. Barry Wone from Rams, Ramsgate, South Africa. Again, Portuguese flap cap, and we'll button it up and show you guys again, if you weren't paying attention. Button it up there. A lot of times the buttons are gone, flaps are torn. Uh, these are all rusty instead of nice and shiny. But this one was actually in country. I think he said that picture was taken in 77. So his hat's been around since at least then. So there you go. How's that look? Pretty sharp, huh? Let me put the gear on now. I'll go over this gear again later when I do a section on uh, all the sets of gear I have. But since I don't have my L1A1 anymore, I gotta model it with this. So there it is. I do have my mag pouch on here, and I will have another one on here for the AK. Um, hope you guys enjoy it with my flat cap, right? Yeah, I'm stoked. Another one crossed off the list. So, uh, if you got any questions or comments, or, you know, say you like this hat or not. And again, Pete Hassan, right there. South African, I mean, uh, Rhodesian troopers. So, God bless them. God bless their service, and God bless all the vets. So, uh, they fight for freedom. So I hope you're digging it. Keep in touch. See you later.